cannon fire! What? What's happening here? It's... it's my grandfather, Gerald Robotnik. What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait! Someone is coming! You... you haven't given up yet? It's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Arc will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else- I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive, <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony, the colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to probably keep the prototype, keep the prototype from prototype falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him, if you wish. Release and awaken it if to the world! If you wish to fill the world with destruction... Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather predicted. 
that mad scientist. That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now. The space colony arc position may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emeralds is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! System alert! System alert! The intruder has reached the system area! Initiate okay. the program!
No problem. Look, it's Shadow! I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow, we need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please do it for me. Maria! For all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Let them live for their dreams. Shadow, I know you can do it. I promised her, and I must keep that promise. That's what Maria wished for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria and you. Just like the Shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the Shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds.
ugly prototype. are the seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. The controller is the one that unifies the chaos. Only you can do this. Stop the chaos emeralds!
I must destroy all the evil the Professor has created. This, this is, is what, what you wanted, wanted right? This, this is my promise I made to you. Where is Shadow? Do you really think that the Professor created him, oh Shadow, to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was what he was, a brave and heroic hedgehog who gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. As a child, I looked up to my grandfather because of all the great things he accomplished in his life. He was my hero, and I wanted to be a great scientist like him. But... Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't know, but what I do know is... We all did it together! You're right. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work for too little pay. Anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about right now. It'll all work out. You'll see. If you say so. It's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Dude, the planet is cool and blue as me. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog.